Fora TV. The world is thinking. So since we're in stem cells and stem cell research, um, if you today accept fun federal funding, you can only do research on what we call the presidential stem side lines. And uh, so it's like you can do all the private research you want, but if you're going to use federal funds, it's, it's for pres the presidential stem cell lines. Those presidential stem cell lines, uh, you know, were, there were 60 of them initially, only 10 to 15 are now shipping. And in fact, you may have heard things that say the presidential stem cell lines are dying. And uh, it turns out that, no, they're not dying. Uh, it's, it, it, I kept thinking, they're, you know, that means mean like you go and you look in the Petri dish and they're not there anymore. No, they're not dying. The problem is they're changing. Now, when you constrain anything you're growing to, in this case, a Petri dish in a particular, you know, humidity and temperature and everything, life adapts. The best cells try to get better. They say, gee, I'm really going to really like it here in the Petri dish. And, <laughs> you know, life mutates and the, and the ones that are real. But with science, every experiment you do on a stem cell line, you want to be the sta same stem cells. Otherwise, you're comparing apples and oranges or apples and a slightly different apple. And the science no longer works. And what is happening um, is that we are getting to the point where many of these stem cell lines are being highly stressed simply by being in the Petri dishes or whatever they're being developed in. The, and and just, just like sourdough bread, you, you start with your starter dough, you put a bunch of flour and water in, and then you make a bigger one, and you just take some aside to go forward. But in this particular case, now we're talking about these stem cell lines are, uh, are in fact beginning to change. And rather than saying, well, it's just the, it's just the federal you know, funded stuff, it's not. Even the private uh, funding people, excuse me, even the private companies are using federal uh, stem cell lines, or the presidential stem cell lines, because while they are uh, doing their particular uh, studies in with, with the other stem cell lines, they need to do them as well with the federal ones so they know they match the earlier science. So we have a time where it's very simple. It crosses over. You've got the number of presidential stem cell lines, the, the, the viability going declining while you have the number of people and number of experiments they want to use increasing. And so that's always a disaster saying, well, we're just looking at the end here. We've got to do some, something. So this is a biotech challenge for America because these stem cell lines are not going to live forever. And while there was some legislation passed by both houses of Congress, the president vetoed it. And if we need to study something that is not, rep here's something that we haven't talked about. If we need to study something that isn't represented in the existing lines, then we're out of luck anyway, even if they continued forward. And let me give you an example of that. Uh, Dr. Kari Stefansson is an Icelander, and he's the president and CEO of a firm called Decode Genetics. And it's great. They actually have all the genetics of everybody in Iceland. And if you remember your Iceland history, there were, you know, how many boats, a couple of boats got off, and the, everybody's descended from them. And uh, they actually have a lot of diabetes. They have a, a lot of interesting things. Very hom homogeneous population. People are retiring to Florida, not to Iceland. What a surprise. And <laughs> I know, I know. And so uh, they've managed to keep the homogeneity going there. Um, they have found a gene variant, which in white Americans creates a 15% increase in the risk of heart attack. Of course, they're using all of their genes. So if we were going to study it here under federal funding, with, we'd, we'd better be lucky and make sure that that gene variant is in the current presidential stem cell lines, or we wouldn't be able to do it with federal funds. And if that doesn't get you, that same gene variant in African Americans creates a 250 percent increase in the risk of heart attack. So once again, I guess the minorities are left out, you know, as it, as it were. So the punchline is, if none of the presidential stem cell lines carries the gene variant of interest, we can't study it with federal funds. So you can make all the declarative sentences you want in Congress. You can make all the decisions you want from the National Science Foundation, the National Institutes of Health, wherever you are. But unless we have the raw goods, 
we can't move forward. Now, that was one of those things I just didn't know. I didn't get about stem cell lines, and I sure still don't know a lot about them, but I can certainly put that together.